What's up guys, thanks for watching DIY Dozier. On today's episode, I wanna start talking to you about my Chevrolet Silverado project. So what we have here is my 2007 Chevrolet Silverado Classic. It is the last year of the cat eye headlight. It has a baby 4.8. And it is two wheel drive. As well as extended cab as you can tell here. I purchased this truck. A little over a year ago. Uh, I needed something to pull my motorcycle trailer with. To go to riding competitions and stuff. And I've got a little bit of experience with LS stuff. Yeah, I figured it would be a good little workhorse. So the bug kind of got me. I've never owned a sport truck, and I decided I was going to give this truck my rendering of what a sport truck should be. So, this is going to be my intro video on this truck, and plans will be as follows. Um, I'm, I'm working on a turbo kit currently. It's going to get a head and cam package. Uh, obviously tune, torque converter, probably a 4L80 swap from a 4L60, probably a true track rear end, custom drive shaft, and obviously tuning. I don't plan on making this a, uh, you know, a strip truck, a drag truck. Uh, it will be something that I can pull a trailer with. I'm currently bouncing back and forth between drive and overdrive. I made a trip down to Florida recently, and the truck spent 90% of the time in drive, instead of overdrive while pulling a dual axle enclosed trailer so i'm looking for around 500 horsepower if i can get 500 horsepower out of this thing with a little baby turbo kit make it sound good by upgrading the cam and do what i got to do to it i'll be happy camper i do car audio so i plan on doing an entire scar audio setup in this truck i have never used scar audio um i'm gonna guinea pig it I'm going to just uh, go ahead and buy some good stuff from them. When I say good stuff, I'm going to buy their their best stuff that they have. Stick it in here and see what I can get. Probably going to go with four eights across the back. Uh, build a custom box for it underneath the seat. Uh, probably going to go with two sets of six and a halfs up front. And a set of drop-in four by sixes in the back. So I've already got a JVC uh, touchscreen. It's relatively new. It's got Bluetooth and everything, Apple CarPlay and Android and all that. So um, as far as the inside, I'm going to end up needing a door panel. This has got a crack in it right there. Uh, the previous owner broke this. I don't know what the deal is. It, it's got a broken tab that should be right there. I'm pretty sure the previous owner broke the front and it's super glued in. I've tried to pull that. It won't come out. I'm, I think it's gonna break before I actually get it out. And I do know how to take this off. So um, the headliner sags a little bit. So we got some of this going on here. It's gonna need a new headliner. Probably gonna go with something suede. Same tan color matched on the inside. Uh, other than that, uh, probably gonna get a steering wheel. And I will need a new center console also because that is all cracked and nasty looking um this truck has an issue with the uh with the seals on the back of the cab the seal down there in that hole that little plastic piece down there it is leaking so my floorboard gets wet occasionally whenever it rains depending on how i park the truck i gotta fix that i'll probably get new carpet all right, so real quick, what I've done since I've got the truck, uh, I bought it. It's got 170,000 miles on it. It was a one-owner truck. I bought it because of how clean it is. It does have a little dent right here. 
and it also does have some sort of gouge up here I don't know if this guy I mean obviously he drove under something low but that right there he's got that going on uh, the rest of the truck body is pretty much straight with the exception of the uh, you know the bed caps or lack thereof you know a little dent here then there's another one in here a couple little spots here here's one here and I think there's another one right in here so I also do paint work and the plan is to throw an SS front bumper on here and uh, I already put a roll pan on the back it has a hidden recessed trailer hitch behind the tag and I did the 22 inch black snowflakes I also did a 4.6 lowering kit from McGoffey's or McGawie's however you want to say it uh, I put that on myself it's got a flip kit on the rear with a step notch on the rear uh, Beltec shocks front and back two inch drops been on the front part of that McGoffey's kit this uh this handle here is going to be shaved. I bought this. It was supposed to be color matched off eBay. It did not work out. It's the wrong color. Uh, I think they sent me cashmere metallic. My truck is actually silver birch. Um, but I'm not too worried about it. I'm going to shave that handle. Get rid of that tailgate cap there. Uh, which I also bought to get rid of the whale tail that I took off a little while ago. And I'm going to paint that roll pan. But I'm going to paint the whole truck. I think I'm going to go with a two-tone. Uh, I'm thinking black on the bottom half with a metallic silver dividing line in the middle and I'm going to go with a candy royal blue a candy blue with a bowling ball effect on the top half of the truck uh, possibly going to go with the ZL1 cow hood I'm not positive yet but all these things will be uh, taking place in the near future uh, I figured I would go ahead and start this video and document the process. This is, like I said, the intro video. So these will be coming out, you know, kind of slowly. But I will video everything as I do it to this truck from here on out. As I've already done, you know, quite a bit. I didn't have the YouTube channel going yet. And uh, I got carried away. This will all now be documented from here on out. Anyway, if you have any thoughts, opinions, share them, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. And stick around for content to come on this build.